So I was cleaning my closet. I worked on my car earlier today. That's why I got that grease on my thumb. Um, I was cleaning in my closet, and I found this big bag of stuff. And in this big bag of stuff was some cool little items from my childhood, uh, starting with this battle beast. He's moose. Kind of nifty. Uh, the only one I have left, I probably had hundreds of these when I was little, and this is the only one that I still have currently. Also, in my little bag of stuff I found, um, a very well played with Princess Allura. You know, all this stuff would probably wash up a little bit, but you can see how yellow the torso is here on this figure. Now, these had the lions that you open the cockpit, and they had the helmets, and they would ride around in the lions. It was pretty cool. The rest of the bag is a bunch of these guys. G.I. Joe. Just gonna. Huh. Having a hard time with this one. He's got too much white on his helmet. There's a good view. That's a Big Ben, I believe. When they decided they were international heroes and they needed to bring in some people that weren't Americans. That's a psych out. The psychological officer. This is the night force version. The original one was blonde and looked a lot more like a douche. And he still, you know, he still looks like a douche. That light is, the light makes the frame rate better. But the light washes everything out. So what are you going to do? We all know this guy. It's like a mustache with titties. Yes, yes, Ricondo, who's been featured very heavily in action figure therapy. Now, this is the Tiger Force version, but still the same mold. Oh, he's sticky on the back. Nice. This was one of my favorite characters as a child. I don't know why. I can't swim. Maybe that's it. Maybe I respected him for being able to swim. And now, all of a sudden, my camera won't focus again. I'm actually getting very frustrated trying to do this because you hey, see how it'll focus and then go right back out there we go yeah I like the wetsuit a lot I actually have the other couple of versions of wetsuit in this bag too um this is another group that I liked this was um Sky Patrol. Sky Patrol came with um, parachutes that actually worked. And because of that, many of these figures that I have here are broken because I played with them in the parachute. And I'm not talking about their waist plates broken. But as you can see, no, no, you can't see from that because that's the wrong figure. These guys were remolds of the old pirate pilot figures from the other from previous incarnations. These guys had just they just put new heads on all of them, recolored them, and gave them helmets. I have no idea what this dude's name is, but I, I had a bunch of those and I really liked them. Uh, this guy here, see, he broke this arm. I remember this clearly because I cried. This swivel's broken on this arm. This arm's just glued back. It like does that, but it doesn't turn here anymore. Really weird how I have to focus on something in front of the figure to get it to focus. But yeah, I wonder if I want to get in here and see if I have a whole, but I don't have a whole version. I had two or three of this dude because I liked sci-fi a lot, but he's broken and his waist doesn't seem to be in there. Sci-fi was the laser trooper. He was originally green, neon green, and had a big silver helmet. Oh, oh, I have one. Sci-fi. I have an original sci-fi. How cool is that? I actually am not sure completely what's in this bag, so. I mean, I know it's mostly like G.I. Joe's.
Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I really liked this dude just because his name was Sci-Fi. And still to this day, I'm a big sci-fi nerd. So, explains a lot. These things are impossible to stand up without bases. Another favorite, Dial Tone. And I, all I'm going to say about Dial Tone is uh, G.I. Joe Resolute. Dial Tone was not a girl, so screw off. Um, half a scoop. Scoop starred in a um, a little mini series all by himself. Well, not all by himself, but he was the main character in uh, Operation Dragonfire. You know, I was looking that up just the other day. Anyway, it's half of him. He looks like that guy from the A Team, the one that's supposed. To... No, he looks like Scott Bakula. Holy crap! Look how much he looks like Scott Bakula. Here's some. Uh, 90s G.I. Joe action. I, I know this guy came with a vehicle. I have no idea what his name is. But man, that's a hideous color scheme. Uh, this guy has the same kind of an issue. I'm on a roll now. i got these things where they're focusing. I should have been like that to start with. This is another character that I like, but I'm missing part of him. This is a Tiger Fur Force version of... Is this Tripwire? Tripwire. I'm sure that the other pieces are in here. Lots of these are just in here loose with broken parts. Um, with parts hanging about. There's another vehicle driver. I don't know what his name is. Um, Slipstream, I think. Needs an O-ring badly. I went to go put O-rings in all these guys and, well, see I got the pack of O-rings. But all their screws are pretty rusty, so I'm not sure what, how I'm going to go about getting them apart. I don't remember his name. Night Force Crazy Legs, half of him anyway. Now he's crazy without legs. Night Force Tunnel Rat, half of him. Tunnel Rat was one of my favorite G.I. Joes, too. I had several different versions of Tunnel Rat. Night Force Shockwave, not the same Shockwave from G.I. Joe, I mean, from Transformers. Uh, he's in fairly good shape. Another character I liked a whole lot, Blizzard. See, too much white. Hard to get white to focus. Blizzard. See, his, he's ready to go skiing. And, of course, something about watermelons and stuff, right? You've seen action figure therapy, I'm sure. Um, Footloose with no feet. And I could literally go on and do... Oh, I have to do this one. Ooh. I have to do this one and maybe a couple more, and then I'll give you... I'll let you guys leave me. You probably already turned this off. That's a low light. But I don't remember what line this is from. But it's definitely a repaint from the original. And... Night Force Dial Tone. I like the nerdy ones, as you can tell. Here's a hawk with no legs. Rock and roll! Muskrat. If you're noticing the trend that I don't have a lot of cobra, yeah. Deep Six. That's a second version of Deep Six. Some snow guy. I don't know his name. Sergeant Slaughter. 
really popular character. I never really liked him that much, but I, I have him still anyway. Here's the top half of General Hawk. Quick kick. Wake son, wake up, Daniel son. Um, and then, uh, the rest of this is a bunch of randoms. Oh, he came with the aircraft carrier, which I did have. I know. Oh, you, uh, you're going to tease me now about being a spoiled little rich kid, and I guess I was. I, I never really think about it until I look back, but I guess I was a spoiled ass rich kid. But I had the six foot carrier, and this was its pilot. And you can see. And I'll just do these two, and then I'll put it up. This is Outback. <laughs> Lee's going to like that one. That's an Australian stereotype right there. He's red-haired and big chest and probably says good day, mate. And um, I don't remember his name, but I know he was the samurai. But that's it. I just wanted to go through my little bag of G.I. Joes with you. Um, they all need a cleaning. Lots of pieces loose. As you can see, here's just a big pile of legs. And Jinx's head. Yeah, I feel bad about that one because I like Jinx quite a lot. And the rest of this is just parts. But I found a bag and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I've been Drew. Um, check you guys out next time. Uh, and before I leave, I'm going to shout out a couple of folks. Uh, Mantis Nine Nines, Damn You Hussies, um, Vega Death, uh, Mitch Santona. You know, my usual compadres. Uh, Bumble Bloggins been commenting on a lot of my stuff. He's a cool kid. Um, but that's it. I'll see you guys later.